Now here's a lovely turkey crown from the freezer. It's solid as rock and I'm going to now start to defrost it. But always, I must emphasize this, always read the instructions on the back of the turkey. In the UK climate this will take three days to defrost properly. But elsewhere always read your instructions as regarding defrosting your turkey or turkey crown just to make sure. But three days this will be ready to cook. I always prefer a crown as to my mind it seems better value. It's all meat. There may be a small bone underneath but all of that is meat, turkey meat. And that's the defrosted, well washed turkey and in my case, or I recommend, give it a good sprinkling of oil, vegetable oil in this case, but just give it a good oil. And the turkey's ready to go now. So I'll now put the turkey in the oven. So do be careful because ovens are quite hot. State in the obvious. It's a three stage series to do the meat. Stage one, as you've seen, is to seal the meat. So that's just half an hour at a high temperature. The second stage is an hour per kilogram at 150, which is medium heat. And the third stage, we take the lid off the pan and do it another half hour just to make sure a lovely brown finish is on the meat with an extra half hour without the lid on that really gives it a lovely golden brown finish. Right there's the timer, off goes the timer, out comes the turkey. So here we go, it should be lovely and brown by now. Be careful because it will be quite hot or very hot indeed. Oh boy, look at that. Wow! There we are. How was that? Right, I'm now going to wrap the turkey in foil. And there we are. So it will stay like that obviously till it's cooled and then when it's cool it's easier to carve. Carving hot meat is hopeless in my opinion. So leave it like that and just let it cool but it'll stay hot for quite a few more hours yet. And that's how I cook a turkey. Mm -hmm.